Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, Your Excellency, uh, President Koroma, Honorable Mrs. Zainab Hawa, Bangura, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Sierra Leone, <coughs> Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Executive Representative of Secretary General, Mr. Michael von Schulenburg, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to take part in this high-level special session on Sierra Leone. I salute uh, His Excellency President Koroma on his personal leadership and commitment, as well as his engagement with the Peace Building Commission at this critical moment for Sierra Leone. We have just listened to President Koroma's inspiring uh, vision agenda for change, and we, I wish you all the success and United Nations and Peace Building Commission will stand behind your noble efforts. I also warmly welcome the delegation of the government of Sierra Leone led by Her Excellency the Foreign Minister. I note that the delegation includes representatives of political parties, civil society and beyond. This is a true reflection of national unity. And I congratulate the people and government of Sierra Leone and the Peace Building Commission on your impressive partnership over the past three years. Since the end of its civil war, Sierra Leone has made remarkable progress. The state has restored its authority throughout the country. National security institutions have been reformed and restructured. 75,000 ex-combatants have been disarmed and demobilized. More than half a million refugees and internally displaced persons have returned voluntarily. And the country has held a peaceful and democratic national and lo local elections. The United Nations has played an important role in supporting Sierra Leone's efforts at making, keeping, and building peace. We draw a sense of pride from Sierra Leone's uh, achievements. However, despite impressive gains, the situation remains fragile. The outbreak of political violence in March of this year was a wake-up call on challenges that require urgent and continued attention. It also reminded us of the importance of sustained global support. I commend President Koroma, government and opposition leaders, and ordinary Sierra Leoneans for rising above uh, differences and overcoming the recent crisis. The adoption of the political parties' uh, joint communique has renewed hope in Sierra Leone's uh, journey toward peace and prosperity. It also has set an example for other countries in the sub-region experiencing similar political disturbances. International partners provided critical and timely support in this effort, including the United Nations Integrated Peace Building Office in Sierra Leone. The United Nations stands ready to continue to help in implementing the communique, including through emergency resources from the Peace Building Fund. The fund recently approved $1.8 million to support inter-party dialogue and strengthen the capacity of Sierra Leone's police. Mr. Chairman, seven years after the end of the civil war, the people of Sierra Leone expect to see tangible improvements in their lives and in their country's welfare. They want peace, prosperity, and brighter future for their children. In short, they want to see and feel the dividends of peace. The government of Sierra Leone has made the clear commitment to deliver. The agenda for change before you today represents an ambitious blueprint for reform, progress, and development. Fulfilling its commitments requires teamwork and a sense of national cohesion and unity. It also requires a continued support from the international community, including the United Nations. Together, we must make further progress in addressing the root causes of conflict strengthening democratic institutions, and promoting economic and social development. The Peacebuilding Commission was created specifically to help 
such challenges. I look forward to Sierra Leone's continued cooperation with the Commission. I also welcome the development of the United Nations Joint Division in support of the Agenda for Change and encourage all members of the Peace Building Commission to provide the necessary resources and support for its implementation. The development of the vision, as well as the design and mandate of UNIPSIL as the first ever integrated peace building office, are important innovations in the way the United Nations supports national peace building efforts. In conclusion, <clears throat> I reaffirm the support of the United Nations for peace, stability, and social progress in Sierra Leone. <clears throat> we recognize that, that these challenges are closely linked to developments in the sub-region. As such, we will also continue to support the strengthening of sub-regional cooperation and institutions such as ECOWAS and the Mano River Union. I wish you much success in your deliberations and look forward to the outcome of this important event. Thank you very much.